We have with us Mr. Akshay Rath, CEO and co-founder of EcoX, also our EPR Credit Exchange Partner at Race 7 Conference. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's delve right into the conversation. We, uh, as this year's theme for Race 7 Conference is recycling and carbon emissions, what are your thoughts on recycling? Very interesting question. Uh, typically, if you look at uh, the plastic waste management rule, which was enacted by Government of India through MOEF and CC and being monitored by Pollution Control Board in India, uh, there are a lot of stress on increasing the recyclables and ensuring that plastic waste doesn't litter our ocean drains, rather it should be recycled for a new product and help them enter into a circular economy. With that, government has clearly enacted laws and there are certain amendments which have been done in the last 4-5 years keeping in mind and the representation received by government from the manufacturing industries. And uh, typically they have divided into two parts. One is called PIBOs, that's called producer, importer and brand owners. And second part is called PWPs, like plastic waste processors. Under plastic waste processor, there could be two categories. Category one is basically waste to energy plants, where they use this no, to uh, convert to electricity and supply it to the local grids. Then you have waste to oil plants. Then you have cement plants where this waste plastic are used as an AFR and uh, used in a kill. So if you look at Central Pollution Control Board, EPR framework and their dashboard available today, there are more than 7,000 odd entities who have been registered. And government is taking very serious note and promoting through various punitive measures, including environment and compensation policy, through their state pollution control boards. And uh, I'm really happy to see the way things are moving. And uh, apart from that, uh, all said and done, EPR is, no underlying principle of EPR is polluters to pay. If you are creating plastic as a package and giving to a consumer, and uh, you will have to necessarily put in effort to collect back that much quantity of plastic and put it into recycling or incineration or end of life processes. So that way if you look at uh, uh, almost close to two and a half million tons of plastic waste uh, divided into three different categories uh, been already there in CPCV portal and EcoX as a company, we are helping the recyclers to get EPR funding from PIBOs. And the whole process is online and uh, monitored through a digital platform. And uh, to give extra security to the data and to avoid data uh, duplicity, we also use hyperledger and blockchain and QR codes, which basically bundles all the traceability documents required to prove that uh, these same consignments or same documents are not being used in any other no transaction. Mm -hmm. So that way it ensures that whatever plastic waste uh, for which EPR is generated is not unethically distributed to multiple brands. Mm -hmm. So uh, recyclers are happy. They are getting some extra fund which will help them to increase their infrastructure. And uh, apart from that, waste to energy plants uh, which are having tie-ups with various <coughs> municipalities across India, they are able to do a very good job. And uh, before getting into the next question, I also like to add uh, CPCB portal has made it so user friendly and uh, it's uh, not uh, like no uh, cumbersome like earlier and anybody can register, get his targets online, put in his procurement invoices and upload his sales invoices and can generate EPR certificates online and then can use a platform like mine wherein he can do transaction with the PIBOs and after doing the price uh, discovery and transaction with the brands, he can go back to CPCB portal and allocate and transfer the certificate to the respective PIBOs. Mr. Rath, let's also talk about uh, EcoX in length. Uh, how does EcoX access uh, the environmental impact of a company or a product? 
primary services, so we are not into EIA. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, as I said uh, earlier, at the moment, EcoX is actively involved in helping to reduce plastic pollution. Uh, but EcoX as a practice uh, very recently started for ESG and DRSR reporting as a practice. And uh, hopefully uh, our team and uh, processes will be in place and will start from next financial year. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's also talk about plastics uh, since we are at the race conference and the buzzword here is recycling and carbon emissions. Plastics are considered to be one of the most harmful products uh, to the environment. How do you make people understand that plastics, if recycled, can do wonders for the environment? All said and done, whatever blame you give to plastic, there is no other material which can replace plastic. That is something we got to live with. So, what essentially we as an individual, we as an uh, household or we as an uh, institution to ensure that we help how all the plastics we are using as a consumer from morning till night, how they are segregated before it goes to a recycling unit. Segregation is one of the activity which will help for better recycling. And uh, if you look at uh, category wise, uh, we can call them as government has classified them into category one, two, three. Category one is typically called rigid plastics. Rigid plastic uh, for viewers, we can now want to have a little more knowledge. Uh, it could be a polyvinyl chloride, PVC. It could be PET bottles, polyethylene, terephthalene, mm -hmm. or it could be SDP, high density polyethylene. Similarly, you have next is flexi category, flexible. Flexible could be LDP, PP, uh, PS kind of material. LDP, nothing but uh, pouches, milk pouches, this is called LDP. Mm -hmm. Similarly, PP is the packaging what you get now when you're buying any kind of uh, ready-made garments from any shop. So, usko agar hum pehle to dry or wet waste separate kare. Segregation, yes. Then, dry waste se plastic nikale. Or plastic ko agar usi clean plastic ko koi recycler ko diya jaye. Recycler, uh, one is uh, it will fetch better value for him. And also it will be very, very easy for a recycler to recycle them as a you know, part of uh, circular economy. So, lot of uh, activities we also do uh, in our company in terms of creating awareness uh, in three stages. One is uh, the frontline various, uh, whom we call it, you know, waste various, that is your rat pickers, safai kamicharis, safai satis, the bajwats, whatever yes, we are seeing today. Yes, yes. So, we should help them to understand a uh, couple of things. One is the hygiene because they are already into you know, uh, garbage, dump yards. So there they should maintain some kind of hygiene standard, some kind of, some kind of safety. And also we help them to get into a financial inclusion part, wherein we help them to get uh, uh, ID cards, which in turn helps them to get a bank account, and which in turn also help them to get funded by various other NGOs. Apart from that, through National Scale Development Center, there are also various programs and certification processes already established, wherein uh, uh, this rag pickers or safai satis is going to go through to get a certification stamp by government of India, which will increase their employability chances in you know, other sectors. S apart from that, we also conduct a lot of uh, awareness programs in school students, primarily for 11 and 12th class students Thanks. across India. And uh, there we found a lot of uh, uh, interest uh, there because the way media is um, uh, projecting after COP26 and COP27, and uh, this becoming a buzzword, sustainability, circular economy, then uh, climate change. So it is uh, our responsibility to ensure that the kids also get aligned to our responsibilities at uh, individual level and help to make India clean. Wonderful, wonderful. Lovely chatting with you, you, sir. And uh, thank, thank you. you so much for watching us. We have much more for you from Race 7 Conference. Stay tuned to Polymer Update.